So the truck fridge is... I think I just need to start shooting these videos at the end of doing a van project and not at the beginning because by the end of the van project I am thoroughly pissed off and talk like I normally do and not like how most people do on YouTube where the video starts and they go, hey guys. It's what, day 5,464 of the van not being here because it's still at the electricians and I'm trying to meditate on what I've always been told, that you can have cheap, you can have fast, or you can have quality. You can pick two of those, you can't have all three. Anyway, can't do anything about it. So, little van project. I told you about the truck fridge, uh, like a couple videos ago. I don't even remember. I don't even know what day it is. That's what happens when you're unemployed. So the truck fridge, those are built for truck drivers. That's the deal. They're reliable, but they ain't pretty, okay? They're very dude-ish. And when we put in the office, if you remember that like fall down office, I thought, well, I'm gonna need somewhere to sit my ass down to type on the internet and respond to creepy comments, right? So I'm gonna need a chair or some kind of bench. And then I thought, well, damn, I've got this kind of basic bitch truck fridge here and I'm gonna need a bench, so why don't we just build a bench over it? And when I say we, what I mean is my guy friends because uh, I'm so frustrated right now that it's not that I'm ignorant of carpentry, I'm just kind of over it and I wanna get on the road. So I attempted to build my own bench over the truck fridge and if there was a Charlie Brown's Christmas tree special for carpentry, it's basically what it would have looked like because it was pathetic. It was just plywood nailed together, it fell apart, you could have sneezed on it and the wall would fall over. So I handed the whole thing over to JB, who was gracious enough to build an actual bench. And it really, it's a box, and then he cut out holes so that the fridge could still have ventilation and um, room to breathe, essentially, which all refrigerators need that. Let me show you JB's carpentry resume. After a major hurricane, and we just had Florence, JB gets out his big boy power tools and he carves gender neutral reindeer and gender neutral snow people out of the oak trees that fall down. And he puts them out there and all the neighborhood women are like, oh my God, you're so adorable, this is so adorable. And I'm over here like, well, good job, dumbass. We could have been selling those to those women and making some money. <laughs> ah, friendship. I'm gonna have to bungee cord it so that it doesn't become a rocket if I stop short while on the road. But he gave it to me today and I was just thrilled. But then I thought, God, you know, it is kind of just like, just, it just needs something. I don't know what it is. And JB suggested fabric. He said, oh, well, you could just wrap it in some fabric. And he was like, but you know, don't do anything dramatic. Like, don't do anything crazy. I'm like, no, 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 no. Why would I do anything dramatic? Oh, look, sparkles. I found this hideous swath of fabric at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance, which is unreasonable because I can't believe people aren't buying this up in droves. But this obnoxious fabric just, just screamed across the Jesus aisle in Hobby Lobby to me and said, this is what you need to wrap your truck fridge in. Again, made for truck drivers, but now that I have my hands on it, I'm pretty sure truck fridge is gonna be horrified to see this anywhere near their refrigerators, but I don't care, whatever, it's my life. While this may not be your cup of tea, I don't know why, it's fabulous, but it should give you some ideas on how you can take what you already have in the van and rework it a little and make it do double duty or in its keep. And then you have not only a fridge, but a piece of furniture and a pole vault into your platform bed.
She does sparkle. She is obnoxious. She's everything I could have asked for her to be. And I know she ticked off JB because when I sent a picture of the glitter fridge to him, he just said, glad you like it. <laughs> It is rolly. I'm sitting on it now and it moves so I can practice core stability strength while out there on the road. Take some of those Instagram photos where I strategically hold my body so it doesn't look like I have belly fat and I have a natural thigh gap and then hashtag fitspo, hashtag body positive, hashtag fit in 2019, whatever. But I have a comfortable bench to sit on. It is irritating to say the least, which makes me proud. I can't wait for the boys at the truck stop to see this fridge. <laughs> it's really ridiculous, but I had fun doing it, so whatever. I am going to go eat some bread and stale pistachios from a big bag I bought at Sam's Club because that is what hashtag unemployment meal prep is really like. Have a good night, y'all.